Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, my beginner to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Popcorn in big trouble after drugs-related problems is the cause of his arrest in the UK. Monkeypox first case confirmed in Jamaica. Bounty killer big up Shaggy after telling officials in Germany about their mother. Skeng Drummer responds to rumors about him being high on Mali at Alkaline New Rules. So the first thing we're going to talk about is popcorn, people. And remember, you know, popcorn was arrested yesterday in the UK. Zine people, and you don't know, say it is said that the Jamaica government is the ones who is causing this on popcorn. Now we see where um, the Minister of Tourism, not Tourism, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Kamina Smith or whatever her name is, actually come out and denied those accusations and stuff like that. But we see popcorn lawyer come out and him basically I said the Jamaica government had something to do with what happened to Popcorn Zane. Now we are getting more information, people, as to the real reason why Popcorn was stopped in the UK. And it had to do with the white lady. Yes, my people. And also some little weed situation. So I get into the story so I understand what's going on because this might be something that will haunt Popcorn forever. But this is where the article is. And this is coming from Nationwide News. So you don't know it's a credible source, right? So it's a Interpol's Barbados related green note behind popcorn travel issues, says police. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, has revealed that a green notice has been issued by Interpol against dancehall entertainer Popcorn. The notice was initially issued seven years ago. The police say the government of Jamaica did not issue a stop order against Popcorn. Instead, the global policing body issued the notice against the DJ following separate marijuana and white lady charges out of Barbados. In a statement this afternoon, the JCF says Popcorn, whose given name is Andre Sutherland, was convicted in 2019 in Barbados for possession of marijuana and subsequently deported to Jamaica. The police said Popcorn was again arrested in Barbados in 2011 for possession of the white lady, the white substance. Popcorn's status come to attention of the public on Tuesday after he took to social media to claim that he was detained by British immigration officials. Popcorn claimed the detention was ordered by the government of Jamaica Foreign Affairs Kamina Johnson Smith in a tweet denied the detention was ordered by the government of Jamaica. She added that the entertainer was released. The JCF says in addition to other intelligence, Interpol issued their green notice in 2015 and reconfirmed the notice in 2018. According to the police, the green notice serves as an advisory of previous contact with law enforcement. Yes, my people, so this looks like a something we're probably dead forever. You understand? And obviously, when you hear what them say, it have to do with some cases that happened in the past and stuff like that. But I'm going to be honest, people, I didn't know about all these things that are coming up now about popcorn, say, you know, the whole white lady thing and, you know, the weed thing and all them things. So, what for watch and see what's going on, as I say, popcorn lawyer come out strong, strong, strong this morning and say some things about the Jamaica government and. You know, well, if people actually believe it and thing and thing, but you know, me don't know if I think about this whole thing, people. But when you see the story right now, basically clearing up the reason why popcorn was held in the UK. But the bars free up here now because them see same now a white lady. <laughs> anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about something that is very important and this has to do with the monkeypox thing while going around. Is it my people? The first case has now been confirmed in Jamaica and Dr. Christopher Tufton, the health minister actually revealed those information today or that information today. So you don't know people, me and me couldn't know when I have to take um, caution as it relates to this. Even though it, to me, it is not as bad as the CV-19 but um, this is something where them say out oh, of Every, wow, one out of every ten person can actually lose them life to this thing. You understand what I mean? say? And then I make you know, say you can catch it from like body fluid and all of them things. So I guess if somebody like, was well, sneeze around you and them thing there, you understand what I mean? say? We well, have to be very careful and all of that. First case confirmed, and it's, it came from a man who come from UK or England or whatever. Zin. And people, why is it that uh, always UK always bring in the first case of somebody in a Jamaica? Remember, you know, in the CV-19 case, you know, at the first case where they come to Jamaica, Zane, as somebody from UK, it was actually a woman, or I should have said the first known case, because who to tell that the monkeypox is not here already from a long time and we just don't know about it, you see me, because maybe this guy is not even the first case, but 
it is the first known case. And Minister Christopher Tufton is telling the people, him, say, there's no need for panic. Because the last time when we hear about the first case of CV-19, everybody run, go and buy out the supermarket, go and buy out alcohol, go and, you could have barely get wipes and alcohol and them things there for buy because everybody buy out everything. So people, him, do not panic. Yes, me, just be careful out there because you don't know the thing. And also the guy... Oh, the first confirmed case, the person is now in isolation, and the people who go around, they are also in isolation as well. You understand? And tough and say, if you get out of control, they will have to do um, more tracing and all of them type of things. You see me? So, I just want to know what's going on as it relates to this monkeypox thing. I see some pictures of like some kids and things we have it, and I'm telling you people. Me, me, me no one catch a thing here, none at all. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Keng Drummer, who recently responded to some rumors about him being on Mali. You understand? And what about the drummer, you know, Zane? Basically, while at New Rules, I guess him did uh, do some... Too, he, he was too energetic then, Zane. To the point where he might bounce up in the drum, them and all them type of thing. I'm going to show you the video footage and thing, but let me get to the story first so I get an understanding of what's going on and then I'm going to show you the video footage, right, people? So this is how it says. Skeng Drummer High and Mali, musician, respond to accusation. Last Saturday, the culmination of Alkaline Neural Festival at the National Stadium brought many conversations on social media as fans weighed on the various aspects of the event. Among the most topical was the live presentation by controversial dancehall artist Skeng, and more specifically, his band Towaban, who done coordinated attires to complement the artist's image. However, on a more granular level, the performance by drummer Chris Ross left a few raised eyebrows after he has witnessed throwing the drumstick in the air and kicking over several pieces of equipment at the closing of Skeng set. This had led to much speculation by fans that the musician was high on Molly. Chris Ross, who also acts in the capacity of band leader and manager for Tower Band on Monday got wind of the accusation and has released statement addressing the matter. Speaking with Prism Man marketing consultant the musician said i am not sure why they would say that it is because i was playing for skeng i am high on molly or any jug it was just a musical high bass and the energy tower band was putting into the show and the energy skeng came with so together the force had that impact he further stated as a drummer and the band leader i love music and it comes from a natural place Playing skeng music, I think Dancer never expected his live show to sound like that based on how Tower Band creativity arranged the set. Many would have noticed we also came with an image energy and presentation. Therefore, we are demonstrating that once you book Towerban, we bring all the elements, not just entertainment. Towerban is arguably the fastest rising new band currently on the circuit. They have been instrumental in backing some of the industry most notable stalwarts and trending new stars, including Marcia Griffiths, Ken Bode, Egyptian Etan, Nadine Sutherland, Tanya Stevens, Bugle, Ayakteen, TJ, Jashi, Javelin, Ritical, and Skeng. Yes, it people so let me show you the video footage as to why people said this brother you did high on Mali and only can tell me <laughs> where anything about this is it people so watch this skin drummer high on Mali watch to the end So initially when we see the video, 
Me just said I wonder, me never did think that to be honest. You understand what I say? But me just said I wonder what really did I go on. You understand? Me couldn't really catch the grasp as to what happened and stuff. But when you can obviously see why people would have said that. And especially when you play for skin, you know, no people probably think say every single body around skin, them, them pop the pill and all them thing there. Obviously skin is, is somebody who sing about doing it and him no seem like him I go stop so you don't know that are the first thing I go come to people mind you understand what I say but the man I make no know said him no need for do that you know he was just high on the, the, the event the moment and the music and them thing there so him no need for do that you see my people so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about bounty killer bigging up shaggy after he told some officials in germany while he was performing and i guess them they don't want to take the mic zine people to s their mother shaggy was very vocal he was very upset and i don't think nobody really see shaggy in this light before because never see shaggy even cuss a bad word yet people i have never heard him cuss a bad word and to how people hold shaggy at a high standard one time him put up a picture i don't even remember if i him post it or if a spice post it Zane, him shaggy and somebody else and them did have up like the middle finger and people criticize shaggy does fair show middle finger so of course you know say people are gonna be shocked at shaggy telling somebody about their mother and stuff like that and for those of you who don't see the video i'm gonna show you it zane and then i'm gonna show you what bounty killer said in the comment section <laughs> as to all of this is it so watch this If you touch my blood clot, here me ain't a problem. Suck on a mother. Suck on a mother. Suck on a mother. Everybody I go up on this blood clot every night. And I can't come, come touch my thing. Go suck on a mother. Let's go. Here's up. Here's up. Yeah, man, people. So that is what's taking place. And that video actually gone viral right about now. You understand what I mean? So Bounty Killer jump in at the comment section and say rich badness. And he put some laughing emojis and stuff. You see me? So Bounty, I mean, you know, say, and a poor badness this, you know, shaggy having money. So you don't know, them man, they can't say what they want to say. It's not like an artist where, um, when on the money and you have to suck up certain things because if you try that, you're broke. Shaggy is a man who sit down for millions and the man that have whole heap of things that go on for him overall. You see it? Not saying that what him do was right, you know, but sometimes you have to stand up for yourself, especially if there's like a case where people are going like them want style you and take it for fool and them things. You see it? Shaggy will not have it. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this. Is this the real rich badness? Because some boys say rich badness and... <laughs> Them badness no rich, it poor. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.